Hello everyone, in this lesson we're going to look at the steps to reset Windows 11 to its default factory settings without losing your files. So when your computer is not working correctly, it's running slow or there is a problem with battery or apps, Windows 11 includes a feature to reset the device to its factory default settings that might help to resolve these and many other problems. On Windows 11, the Reset This PC feature allows you to quickly reset the computer keeping your files and reinstalling Windows using a locally available image or downloading a fresh image from the cloud. Although using either of these options won't delete your files, the process will remove your apps and reset the settings to the factory defaults since there can be part of the problem and that's probably why you're resetting the system. So here is how to reset Windows 11 to the factory default settings. First, we're going to look at the option to reset through the settings app. However, if your computer is not able to start, you can also access this feature from the boot menu. First, open start and look for settings and then open the app. Now go to system and open the recovery page. In here, under recovery options, on the Reset This PC, click the Reset PC button. Here, we're going to choose to keep the files, but this option will remove your apps and settings. Here, you have two options, the Cloud Download or Local Reinstall. Usually, you want to use the Local Reinstall, and if that fails because the files from Windows are damaged, then you can try it again using the cloud download which will download a fresh image of windows to reinstall the operating system keeping your files and just remember that if you use the cloud download the feature will download exactly the same version that you have in the computer this is not an option to upgrade your device for the purpose of this video we're going to select the local reinstall option and here you also get an option to change settings but the only thing that it does is it gives you an option to select the download option, which you don't need. Then click next. So before continuing, make sure to read that using this feature will reset the settings to the default. It will keep your files and will restore Windows and the device. And it will also remove all the apps. You can click the view apps that will be removed option to view just that to see everything that's going to be deleted through this process. If you want, you can also take a screenshot or make notes of the app so you, so you can reinstall them later. Then click the back button. And the only thing that you need to do is just to click the reset button and the feature will take over and it will restart the computer to proceed with the reset. Since this process will make a reinstallation of Windows, you will not need to go through the initial setup. Once the reset is done, you will go straight to the desktop. I'm just going to cancel this process because I don't need to reset this computer. And now we're going to look at the steps to reset your computer if Windows 11 is not able to boot. If your computer won't boot, there are many ways to access the advanced option, but the simplest way is just to turn on the computer and when you see the Windows logo, you press the power button to shut down the computer and then restart it again, shut down one more time. And on the third time, the automatic repair will kick in and you will get to this page. And from here, you need to click the advanced options button and then we're going to go to troubleshoot. On this page, you can see that we have the reset this PC option, and that's what we're going to select to continue. Since we want to keep the files, select this option. And again, we get two options in here, one to use the local reinstall and the other one to, and then the cloud download that downloads the image from the Microsoft servers. Again, it is quicker to use the local reinstall, and if that fails because something's wrong with that image, then you can use the cloud download. But here's a warning when using the cloud download on the advanced settings on when you're on the desktop using the settings is that if you have a branded image from HP, Dell, Lenovo, whatever, if that came with a custom image, that will be overwritten 
by the clean image provided by Microsoft. So if that custom image had some custom uh, configurations or drivers, you will have to apply those manually later on. So with that out of the way, we're just going to select the local reinstall. So make sure to read what's going to happen when you use the reset this PC feature on Windows 11. And the only thing that you need to do now is just to click the reset button. The process will take over. The computer will restart and reset. And because this is a reinstall, you won't have to go through the initial setup and it will go straight to the desktop. And that hopefully will fix any problems that might be preventing the operating system from booting previously. Again, I don't need to reset this PC, so I'm gonna click the cancel button and I'm going to boot one more time into Windows 11. And those were the support methods that you can use to reset Windows 11 to their factory default settings without losing your files. I will also be leaving a link in the video description with written steps so you can follow along with this video. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet, and I just hope this video was informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing.